Hi, it's Bella again. I'm here in Yellowstone today with part two of my movie. Yellowstone National Park was established in 1872. The historic district in Mammoth Hot Springs includes Fort Yellowstone and still has 35 buildings from when the U.S. Army was administering and protecting the park at the turn of the last century. Now try to imagine the Yellowstone and its wildlife as a gigantic machine, then the elk would be its fuel. Elk are the main prey in the park, and without them, predators in Yellowstone, like wolves and grizzlies, would not be able to survive. For many years, this balance had been thrown off kilter. Today though, all of Yellowstone's animals, those with sharp teeth and dull, are protected by a more enlightened people. Did you know the Yellowstone National Park is also an active supervolcano? Well, it may not look like it when you're walking around, but that's because nearly the entire park sits on top of a humongous volcano. The area's bubbling geysers and hot springs are an indication of the churning activity just below the surface. Yellowstone has had at least three massive eruptions. The last one was about 650,000 years ago. Hold on, gotta give me some love. Okay, so that last eruption caused the area to collapse upon itself, creating a 1,500 square mile sunken crater. The heat that powered that eruption still powers the park's famous geysers, hot springs, and mud pots today. Don't jump into the hot springs though, and keep a close eye on the little ones. As beautiful as the park's hot springs look, they're very, very, very dangerous. Well, we're finally here at the Old Faithful Inn, so let's watch the geyser one more time from the hotel's back porch. It's so amazing for a little pup like me to have had the chance to experience the wonderment of this unique American treasure. Discovered by the Washburn Expedition in 1870, the Old Faithful Geyser was named for its frequent eruptions. How often does Old Faithful erupt, you ask? Well, the average time between eruptions is about 74 minutes, but it doesn't always like to act average. Maybe you want to know how high Old Faithful erupts and how long it will last. Well, the geyser can easily shoot up to 100 to 180 feet, and the eruptions usually last 2 to 5 minutes. The water is so intensely hot at the base, it's been measured at 204 degrees Fahrenheit, while the steam that rises has been measured above 350 degrees. Now that's hot! And to me, great architecture only enhances the landscape, even in a place as exquisite as Yellowstone. The Old Faithful Inn is one of those places. Fifty carpenters began construction in June of 1903 and built the hotel in just one year. Architect Robert Reamer designed the lobby and main hall to give guests the feeling of being inside a forest. He even built a treehouse way up in the rafters. As music filled the main hall, I found a nice place to curl up by the piano. Listening to the music, one can faintly hear the roar of Old Faithful as you drift away and look forward to the next day's adventure. Well, it's time for me to set off on my next adventure. Hope to see you soon! Love, Bella!